All right, we've been following that huge development in Mason County, the announcement of a $2.7 billion steel sheet mill coming to the area. The company is called Nucor. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis has been there in Mason County today. I know, Natalie, just the short time that I was in Apple Grove last night, people are buzzing about this. They're so excited. What did you find? Yeah, Amanda, they sure are. You know, everyone I spoke with from the mayor to the superintendent of schools here, from people from this area to people outside of this area, everyone is expressing excitement about what this new development could mean in terms of growth for this area. Now, if you drive down the road here in Point Pleasant, you'll see a large banner over Vianne Street saying, Welcome to Mason County New Corps. And people around here mean it. Locals tell me they think the 800 full time jobs it'll bring, not to mention, the 1,000 construction jobs to build the mill will benefit people needing jobs now and businesses in the surrounding towns like Point Pleasant here. Now, Nucor has already presented a $100,000 check to a mission in Ashton, according to the mayor, and they gave $1 million to Mason County Schools, as we reported earlier in the week. The superintendent thinks this could keep kids in the area. We, we think it's a great opportunity for students uh, to have a chance to go to school in Mason County and then find their employment, their living here, that they don't have to go somewhere to, to try to find a good job. Now, the mill will go on a 1,300-acre area of land out in Apple Grove, and it's expected to produce 3 million tons of steel each year. A second company facility is planned for the northern panhandle of the state. Now, construction is expected to last for two years, with doors finally opening in 2024. Reporting live in Point Pleasant, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. Natalie, thanks.